Okay, I'm going to show you how to convert AVI or DivX files to a DVD using ConvertX to DVD. First we're going to open up ConvertX. Okay. Now I'm going to go into my DivX files. And let's see. We'll do uh, Balls of Fury. Let's take this, drag it up into the window. Okay. Close this out. Now. You can go hit this little plus. I leave it on no menu. Um, it can be a little complicated to uh, put menus in with this uh, with this version. I mean, you can do it. I've done it. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy. But I don't need menus personally. So, so you can see, I don't. I have no menu. <clears throat> play video automatically um, skip root menu if you are putting a menu in you got your you know textile editor and whatnot here's the actual title and you can open that up and see all this but I rarely get into doing all that so anyway the first time you do this, you're going to want to go into your settings and, you know, set everything up the way you want it. Um, one of the most important ones, the encoding. High quality. It's going to take longer, but it's high quality. So, target size, I'm using DVD-5, but I put target size on DVD-9 just because... I haven't really used the uh, compression abilities of this program. Uh, I just use, if it comes out too big, which it it usually doesn't, but if it does, you can just put it through DVD shrink. That's what I like to do. DVD shrinks always worked for me. So conversion priority, I just keep that on normal get this out of here okay and really you don't have to do much to it. you just hit convert got your little uh, preview screen here and see it starts out at a decent speed but it's gonna drop so I'm gonna show you your average bit rate that tends to be, it's usually around around 5,000 average. Okay, so this part, this is going to take a while. You see it says one hour. It's actually going to take longer than that. Um, I don't have the fastest processor in the world. So, I'd imagine if the processor was faster, the uh, conversion is going to be a lot faster. So anyway... Just to give you an idea here, it's what 12:46 p.m. and we'll just come back when it's about done. Okay, so now here it is, nine after two. So that gives you an idea how long that takes. So once it's done, well, not done, but once it gets past that phase this window will come up and uh, this takes a couple minutes again I'm sure it's highly dependent on the speed of your processor okay it's done now see it took let's see it's 212 now it took about three minutes to do all that so Okay, we're good with that, yep. 
Now, what I usually do is I get down here, um, it puts it in my documents, and you'll see the uh, convert X folder up here. And uh, there it is. Let's see how big the file is here. Properties. Okay, 4.2 gig, it's going to fit without having to shrink it. So, you can use Nero then to burn it if you want. I personally uh, just go into action, burn project already converted. Or you can set it to burn automatically once it completes. But, uh, Paul's Fury. Okay. And here, you see this little thing popped up. It doesn't, it's telling me that it doesn't recommend that I use 16x, but I don't really care what it says. It doesn't cause me any problems. Okay, so going to burn now. It's just saying it's an evaluation version, whatever. Okay. And it's going to burn. So this, you know, this takes, I don't know, maybe six, six or seven minutes something like that at 16x you got your little log down here lets you know what's going on so let just pause this okay it's just about to be done burning here And there you go. <clears throat> CD has popped out. So uh, let's go check it out on DVD player. Okay, as you can see, you don't have the best equipment. Shitty DVD player, real shitty TV. But you'll get the idea. Yeah, I realize you can see my reflection. It's kind of bright, but... And it puts, chap puts chapters in every five minutes. you're seeing that's just from me recording a CRT TV but uh yeah that's pretty much it it's pretty good quality I know you can't really tell from this but you can just trust me that it's good quality and that's pretty much it